everyone, Lauren Colfier, President and CEO at CUinsight.com, and I'm bringing you a three questions video interview today with one of my favorite guests to have on. Joining me is Tony Hernandez. He is the President and CEO of the Defense Credit Union Council, or DCUC, as you may hear them called. Thank you so much for joining, Tony. Well, thanks, Lauren. I'm always excited to be on your program. We have a great partnership with CU Insight, and it's just always good to interact with great credit union people. Well, the feeling is mutual. We love going to DCUC events. And this year is a really, really big year. It is your 60th anniversary at the Defense Credit Union Council. Can you share a little bit for folks about DCUC's history and how the mission and purpose have evolved over the years? Sure. Well, you know, we got our start. Actually, we take it way back. You know, military credit unions got started in 1929. And they got started with a, with a small group of people, you know, like seven enlisted members throwing their, their money into a hat and forming a credit union. And they proliferated very rapidly throughout the Department of Defense. You've heard the concept of a barracks lawyer. Well, imagine a credit union getting started inside the barracks and then just mushrooming. And so by, uh, you know, by World War II, there were, there were, there were, there were hundreds of, of military credit unions all over the country. They became extremely popular after the war in the 1950s. Credit unions started noticing they were having unique issues that were different from the rest of the industry. And these issues started mounting up. You had different standards of service, different uh, DOD guidelines, you know, per basis. And you had military credit unions fighting each other for, uh, for control of, you know, who's going to be the, you know, the on-base credit union. And so in 1957, a group of credit unions approached CUNA and said, hell, we need, you know, we need some help, right? You know, we need to do something. And, and so they created a, uh, in 1959, what was called an educational conference up in Madison, Wisconsin. And those lasted for about four years, you know, uh, um, really three years. In 1959, they started saying, hey, we need to create a council, you know, a, a CUNA council geared toward defense credit unions. And so they, they set up a steering committee, you know, to, to sort of come up with some guidelines. And then in Febu on February 8th, 1963 is when the final version or draft got approved. You know, by CUNA, and then ever since then, DCUC has been handling the unique uh, operational requirements of military credit unions because you know we have a highly mobile membership, right? Or back then, it was you know just you, you transition every two to three years. Um, again, I said a uniform set of policies, uh, equitable standards in terms of where you're going to put the credit union on the base. Um, how do you set up? Uh, you know, uh, standards of ethics so you don't have credit unions taking each other out, which which really means that, that the service members suffer from all that. And then how do we look at unique deployment requirements? So we've been doing that for a long time. Um, and, and it's evolved. We've done lots of different things throughout the year, but really about six or seven years ago, we got more involved in advocacy. And that's because going back to credit, military credit unions have a unique set of issues and uh, um, um, uh, challenges and also opportunities. And so how do we advocate for those? And we saw this with the uh, the Military Lending Act in 2015. And that sort of got by the large trade, trade associations because they didn't understand the impact it would have. And so we got involved more involved in advocacy. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But we see it with the Veteran Business Lending Bill. We've been fighting for that for years. And now all of a sudden it's popular because it's something that all credit unions could jump into as a gateway for greater member business lending. And then of course, we're dealing with overseas issues right now. Um, and so we just see you know, an evolution of DCUC becoming more and more involved you know, in advocacy. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah, well, it has been so great to watch DCUC really grow and blossom and expand under your leadership. I, I think you've definitely brought it to the attention of the whole industry and, and the important work that you do. A lot of times, you know, I remember hearing you say, every credit union is a defense credit union because they all have veterans in their field of membership. It is so cool to see the work that you've done. Thank you, Lauren. Yeah, it's been, it's been a great ride. Of course, we, uh, we uh, credit a lot of our, uh, our founders and our, our past presidents and CEOs and our boards, and it's just us taking it to the next step, right? So I've been very blessed to be in this role. Absolutely. Well, they're lucky to have you. I'd love to hear more too about some of the special events and resources that DCUC has introduced this year as part of celebrating the, the 60th anniversary. Any exciting things you can share? Sure. Well, we had a fantastic 60th annual conference at the Broadmoor in Colorado Springs, and it was just a really good uh, event for all our members. I think a lot of people got a lot out of that. 
And we continue to do more of the same, you know, moving forward. But, you know, we reestablished our councils and put some more resources into that, you know, our sub councils, which are regionally based. And uh, we're working more with the leagues, uh, even, even closer than we ever have before, which I think is important. Um, but we also came up with some new resources, you know, uh, we came out with our, uh, a couple of years ago, we had our blended retirement system guide since DOD revamped their, their, their retirement system and went to more of a market-based uh, model. Well, we just came out with a Spanish version because a lot of military you know, families speak Spanish. And so that was very important. And then we reintroduced a whole new guide uh, on, on veterans benefits. It's called just the veterans guide. And we worked with the Department of Veteran Affairs to uh, um, um, kind of kind of make sure we weren't saying anything that was out of bounds. But it's on our website for free. And that's that's any credit union should take full advantage of that because every credit union has at least one veteran in their field of membership. Um, and then, uh, you know, we revamped our, our alert uh, newsletter to a magazine, a monthly magazine format. Uh, we just signed on with a new membership platform to elevate member experience. And so, you know, be ready for DCUC Connect. We'll work, we'll work that out. We'll introduce that in our 61st year, which starts here in, in, uh, in, in a little over a month. And so uh, we're just real happy about all the changes that we've done. Change the look of our lo looks of our logo. Um, change the, uh, um, you know, uh, our, our headquarters, you know, just doing more things that advances our brand and uh, really just promotes what our, what our ideals are within the credit union industry. Well, I love it. I think there's so much that, so much of the work that you've done that is so impactful for credit unions and for consumers and for, for all of those military and veteran families out there. As we think about where you're going next, where do you see DCUC headed in the next five years? I see DCUC, uh, well, it could either, we're going to grow. It's either going to grow slowly or grow really, really fast, right? And that's that's kind of exciting, but we are going to grow. Like I mentioned, we're getting more involved in advocacy uh, and providing that uh, military and veteran voice within the industry. You know, don't want to compete with the new America's credit unions, but sometimes we're going to have to provide an alternate voice. And that's going to be very important for our member credit unions, you know, uh, you know, moving forward. And I would hope that, uh, you know, a lot of the industry would seek us out first, you know, when, when commenting anything that has to deal with veterans or looking for our help. We can provide a credible and a trusted voice on all credit union, you know, industry issues. Um, because our uh, our membership uh, or the membership of our member credit unions is very unique. And what I love about DCUC is we're an apolitical organization, just like the military. You know, we want to be a trusted resource within the industry, just like our military is a trusted institution within our society. We just see that, you know, very important. So we're looking to probably expand and hire a chief advocacy officer. And I'm meeting with my board to figure out how we're going to do that. Um, and then doing more and more on communications, um, more educational stuff at our conferences. And I think if you're a current DCUC member or a prospective DCUC member, watch for us. We are, uh, we've always been around, or at least the last 60 years, but I see us as accelerating that. And that's either going to go, you know, at its own pace or it's going to accelerate, uh, you know, very much. So we're pretty excited about that. That is so cool. Well, definitely growth is in the future for DCUC. It'll be super cool to see all of the amazing things that come out in the next five years. We're going to link to DCUC's website here and that veteran's guide that he was talking about. So anybody who's interested can find that right in the post. Tony, as we wrap up the conversation, do you have any final thoughts for our audience or final asks of our listeners today? Sure. You know, I think, uh, like I said, every credit union has a veteran member. Yeah. And, you know, I would encourage your marketing, you know, director or, or communications folks, or if you have a community, uh, a, a community involvement, you know, a point of contact with your credit union, check out DCUC.org, check out our veterans guide. That's for free, everyone. You know, you're, you're allowed to use that. And please use us as a resource in, in helping your veterans. We also are members of, or, or we promote the veteran benefit banking program. Don't have to be a DCUC member to join. Check out what that program is. These are things you can do for free mm. in serving your veteran populations. And we're happy to do that. It's a market uh, we're very proud of. 18 million veterans across the United States. And, you know, hint, hint, that's a largely untapped uh, market, you know, uh, for our industry. And it's one that's very loyal. 
and, and grows over time. And so if you have any questions, please check us out at dcuc.org or, or you know, give me a call or send me an email. I'll be happy to do that for you. Amazing. Well, we'll link to Tony's contact information here too for everyone who's interested. Tony, thank you so much for taking some time. I hope to see you in person again soon. Your 60th conference was 60th anniversary conference was amazing. Can't wait for the next one. And until then, I hope you stay well. And thanks to all of our listeners for tuning in today to our three questions video interview series. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you.